nation. There was an exposure of that old economy. He went to the temple of God. He threw away the money changers and all those who were selling and buying. We expose their economy. He went into the temple of God. And they showed them the beautiful stones of the temple. And you know what he said to them? One stone upon the other will not remain. One people came to him and said, We have Abraham as our father, he said. I know who is your father. Your father is the devil. One day he went into the house of the Lord, to the synagogue. He was given with the scriptures. He took it to read. And he said, finally, this day the scripture is fulfilled. He never gave a portion there. He never gave a message there. He only said, today the scripture is fulfilled before your eyes. They began to pull their beard and their hair. They wanted to throw him over the cliff and kill him. Wherever he went. Wherever he went. Wherever this new humanity walked, it exposed the old humanity. That is what the gospel is. In the situation though. In the situation of the matter, the gospel today. Today, what is gospel? In the situation of the land, no power for this gospel. In the situation of the land, no power for this gospel. It is like the market products that are being sold today. They say, you know, your product is guaranteed. And the guarantee, they say, is that heaven is guaranteed. I want to tell you, the true gospel is become a powerless thing in the hands of religious men, beloved. No power for the gospel. It cannot stand one trial. It cannot stand one situation. May God help us to understand. The true gospel, if you will receive the true gospel into your life, it will bring a crisis and a devastation and an exposure of your old humanity in your life. And life. Sometimes you wonder, I used to wonder by reading the gospel, some of the ways these men reacted to the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes you wonder, 
Their reactions have been most terrible and inhuman. Manushikamai valariya digam sojaniyamaya dushtha riti lana avreshi vada pradigari chitun. You wonder sometimes how on, a, how on earth they got this cleverness, you know, to come against and bring up things against the Lord. But then I realized it is this man who was exposing the climax of human cleverness in this man. That is what this new humanity will do in your life and mine. Do you understand what I'm saying? We understand what is written in the Gospels now, isn't it? Now this is going to happen in this Gospel of your life. Listen carefully. The times of adjustments are over. You know, when we took our vehicle for repair, the mechanic told us, Sir, the last adjustment is over. You have to change the whole patch assembly. We had to change the whole assembly. And I want to tell you one thing. The last adjustment for you and me is over. <laughs> now, don't be scared when God begins to uncover you and me. I want to tell you with all my heart, God is going to come into your life and my life. He is going to do the work of uncovering everything we have cleverly concealed over the years. I don't know if we are going to have an evening meeting today. <laughs> it doesn't look so. Everybody's faces are, you know, the faces are not very... But let us finish this session. <laughs> Please bear with us. God is going to do a work of uncovering. God is going to do a work of exposing. God is going to do a work of manifestation of that kind of man. This is what happened in the days when Jesus Christ came into this earth. And you see, as the days go by, there is an intensification of this. The heat began to increase. The malice and the hatred began to increase in dimensions. Malice and hatred. The prejudices began to increase. Wickedness began to increase. Against whom? Against the man. Against the new humanity. Which he had purposed before the foundations of the world. But what has my Lord done? 
my lord has done yes ennal endana ente kartavu cheyathu what has my lord done that there must be such an increase of hatred malice prejudice what has he done ee vidamaya avare edire vidveshamum magayum asuyum okke avartikkuvan takkavanam avan endha cheyathu what is the reason for this rage what is the reason reason for this spitefulness ividavayittulla pagaykum vidveshathinum kaaranam endanu because he was after the mind and the heart of god kaaranam avan devathinte hrudayathinum taalpidithinum anusarichulla manushyanayirun and do you know one thing ningal oru kaariyam ariyamo this began to intensify the heat began to increase and increase and the climax of it all we see at the cross aa pagayade vidveshathinte yokke vartharavu inde parisamaapti evada nammal kaanunnu nariyamo avan cross nalgi ennulladana the antagonism began to increase and take new dimensions antagonism ഇവിധമായിട്ടുള്ള വൈരാഗ്യം ആ എതിർപ്പ് ഈ ക്രൂസ് നൽകുന്ന അളവിലേക്ക് എത്തിച്ചു അത് വർദ്ധിച്ച് അത് വർദ്ധിച്ച് വർദ്ധിച്ച് അത് അത് ആകമാനമായി ക്രൂസിന്റെ അളവിലേക്ക് എത്തിച്ചു എന്നാൽ പുതുമനുഷ്യനെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം ഹി വാസ് ഓൾറെഡി മൂവിംഗ് in the way of the cross in his own life ennal pudu manushyan cross prudhi anubhavam alla jeevithathinte ore divasangalilum aa anubhavathilulla poikkonde irikkukayayirun and therefore adagonda the climax year of the cross was something that he was prepared for aa ehu aa 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 palaya mala sabu avaru koduthadaya cross enna vare un aa adu aa avastha വേണ്ടി അവൻ അമനത്തിന് ഒരുക്കിക്കൊണ്ടേ ദൈവം പറഞ്ഞു പഴയ മാനവ സമൂഹം അത് പ്രാപിക്കുകയില്ല എന്ന് ബട്ട് ഓൺലി ദാറ്റ് ന്യൂ ഹ്യൂമാനിറ്റി കൻ കം ഇൻ ടു and attain to the full height of the lord jesus yesu christu vinde prayathine tigavu prabikkuga ennullada pudhiya manava samuhathile maatrame pattigeyullu kaligeyullu enna devam prakhyavichu may god help us to come into the revelation of this son the lord jesus christ and this new humanity in our lives ee putra yesu christu vinne kurichulla arivilekkum ee pudhiya manava samuhathile kurichulla velippaadilekkum devamaya karthavu namme kondu varumaral let the lord engrave these things upon the tablets of our hearts by his finger nammala hrudayathinte palagukalile avante karangalal avane idu eduthatte this devastation and this crisis is a practical one it is not a theoretical one ee ulmoolanam ennullathu ഒരു സാങ്കല്പികമായിട്ടുള്ള ഒന്നല്ല ഇത് പ്രായോഗികമായ ഒന്നാണ് ലോഡ് വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു വർക്ക് ദിസ് ഇൻ അസ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ അവർ ലൈഫ് ഇൻ ദീസ് ഡേയ്സ് നമ്മൾ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതങ്ങളിൽ ഇത് ചെയ്തിരപ്പാൻ ദൈവം ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു റിമെമ്പർ വൺ തിങ് ഒരു കാര്യം ഓർക്കുക ദിസ് ന്യൂ ഹ്യൂമാനിറ്റി ഇൻ അസ് ഈസ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഗോയിങ് ടു അൺകവർ ദ ഓൾഡ് ഹ്യൂമാനിറ്റി ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പോസ് ആൻഡ് ബ്രിങ് ഇൻ ടു ലൈറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വിച്ച് ഹാഡ് ബീൻ ഹിഡൻ over the many years in our lives e pudhu manava samuga nammude jeevithathil palaya manava samugathinte daayittu naam kaathu paarikkuna olichu vechirikkuna marachu vechirikkuna paladineyum velippaduthuga thanne che do we want this transition in our lives e parivartana nammude jeevitham nam aagrahikkunnundo transition one from adam to christ transition from one nation to another transition from one economy to another economy adamil ninna kristu vilengilekku oru jaathi ninna pudhiya jaathiyilekku oru palay vyavasthai ninna pudhiya vyavasthayilekkulla parivartanam ningal aagrahikkunnundu this is the desire of god idana devathinte aagraham shall we all stand up in the presence of the lord namukellavarkum devasangalai nalkam
Shall we all stand up in the presence of the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord that the Lord may reveal this to our spiritual man. Lord, reveal this to my spiritual man. Reveal this man, the Lord Jesus Christ, to my spiritual man. Reveal to my spiritual man this new humanity and the frailty and the unattainableness of the old humanity. Reveal this to me, Lord. Lord, I want to commit myself to this work of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God who had been commissioned to perform this work. Complete this work of transition in our lives. Despite perplexities, hard times, difficult situations, Lord, I want you to effectively bring about this completion in my life. Lord, I see how strong is the old humanity in me. I see it, Lord. Lord, I know that new humanity is going to expose and uncover and... Uh, uh, manifest this old humanity much more in the days to come well, and I want to give myself to the working of thy spirit of God. Well, the Amen. Amen. Lord, I don't want to conceal. I don't want to hide anymore. Lord, I want you to work very effectively in my life. Lord, I am committed today in my heart. If this new man, this head of this new humanity, the son of the living God comes into my life, it is going to bring crisis and devastation and not a life full of just peace and joy. Lord, I want to submit to this working of thy spirit in my life. Lord, I know this devastation is not theoretical. But it's down to a practical in my life. It is very, very practical. You have spoken to me, this is absolutely necessary. Lord, help me. That in such times, when you expose these things and you work upon me, I will not be offended in my life. I will submit to you, Lord. I will submit to my brothers and my sisters. I will submit to you, Lord Jesus. That I may be built into. I may come into the full stature of that man in my life. And every place that you empty, you are going to fill it with your son. Lord, knowing all the pains and the sufferings and the difficulties, I am determined and I willfully submit myself to your working. My desire and longing is 
that Christ be glorified that Christ be formed within me that this life may grow into the full stature of that man let that be our prayer thank you Jesus Unite my heart to fear thy name Unite my heart to fear thy name I Thy truth.